at what age should I be thinking about my testosterone levels or should I be thinking about them all the time? Because I kind of see it as something that I need to worry about when, I'm, when I get a little bit older into my 40s and 50s. It tends not to decline until about age 40, but I would say do a baseline now. Okay. So a baseline biomarker assessment would be worthwhile. And what would be a sign that I had low testosterone if I'm a man? Belly fat, mm -hmm. gynecomastia, that's when you get breast development, okay. food changes, mood swings, uh, irritability, uh, depression, cardiovascular changes, erectile dysfunction, decreased libido. What about in a woman? So if a woman has low testosterone, what are the symptoms we see in a woman? They're similar. So um, both sexes have fatigue. That's very common. Decreased libido. They might be working out at the gym and not seeing a response. They might have some hair loss. It's a hormone of vitality in both men and women. So if a woman is low testosterone, she might be less confident, have less motivation, less agency. Less yeah. willing to take risks. Less sex drive. What if she has high tos testosterone levels? So high testosterone tends to track with polycystic ovary syndrome. It's the most common hormone imbalance that women have. It leads to infertility. It leads to increased hair growth in places that you don't want it. So that can include like your chin and between your breasts. It can lead to um, insulin resistance. In some, but not all, but somewhere around 70% of people with PCOS have insulin resistance. So it leads to symptoms of excess androgen, acne, hirsutism. It also is associated with problems with the mitochondria. It's also linked to dysregulated stress response. That's something we see with people with PCOS.